Hey, Walter. This place is so cool. What was the inspiration behind the exhibit? Ah, John Payne, brilliant artist and inventor. He created these kinetic sculptures for us to explore. Are those real bones? They're not real bones, but they are based on real bones. They're inspired by the actual skeletal remains of Triceratops in this case. So it's a nod towards the skeleton, a very cool artistic representation. Is that T-Rex life-size? T-Rex is, well, life-size. Yeah, they came in these sizes, and they do come much larger than this, of course. But this is a chance to actually move the jaw. You can pull the cable here, and the jaw goes up and down. And the rest of the sculpture moves, too. In this case, it's very fixed. They're pretty still, but all the other sculptures have joints that allow them to move as you move from a single point. It's kind of cool. You can animate the entire thing. Let's explore them. So check this one out. It's all, well, <laughs> levers and pulleys and gears. Oh my! In this case, you pull the cable, the cable works the lever, the lever then, through the pulleys, redirects your force so you can change, well, the position of the dinosaur. And as we were talking about before, yeah, there's joints all throughout. Pull one way, it goes one way. Pull the other, it goes the other. Pull them both, it goes up and down. It was kind of moving like a heavy metal concert. It is like a heavy metal concert. <laughs> but uh, no rock, uh, you have to dig those away. So you learn about science and you get an arm workout. At the That's same exactly time. right. Yeah, yeah. You, you do have to be a little bit of, you no, know, a little bit of buff, a little bit of buff to you know, be able to work these. They can be, they can be heavy. In fact, <laughs> this one calls for a friend. Could you give me a hand? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. See, with this one, you're lifting the head. You want to talk about heavy metal? By yourself, it's a little much. So let's get two people going. That's it. Exactly right. That's it. That's it. And we can make it go back and forth or up and down by moving together. Well done. Thank you, brother. Appreciate Thank you. It. So some of them we move, and then the others move themselves? That's right. And, and in fact, you have, in some cases, you'll find a motion detector. It notices you walk up, and it starts moving around because they get more complicated as they go along. Here we have electric motors that are driving the whole thing, so it's kind of nice to have it control itself. Now, is that a game controller? It is a game controller. Just like I said, right? It gets a little more complicated. Here we have electric motors also that do the heavy lifting for us powered by electricity. You can explore that and learn more if you want. But as you move the controllers, that moves the electric motors. Makes it a little simpler than having to pull on the pulleys. All right, so which one's your favorite? There is a pair that have my attention here. A friend who works here pointed this out to me at no matter how they start over the course of the day, they eventually end up holding hands. Isn't that cool, right? They make friends while they're here. Uh, and we hope that you'll do that too when you come and visit us. Thanks, Walter. Hey, my pleasure. Anytime.